Hey guys, it's Sophie and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about a group of animals that have been around on this planet for over 455 million years. That's right, today we're going to talk about sharks. There are over a thousand different species of sharks and rays living in our oceans today. These special type of fish are in the subclass Elasmobranchii, or are also known as chondrichthys, due to having cartilage as their skeleton instead of bone like us human beings. Bony fish, also known as osteichthys, have a swim bladder which helps them stay buoyant in the water. However, chondrichthys have a liver full of special low density oils that helps them stay buoyant in the water instead. Sharks are also very special because they have an extra sense that most animals lack. You may have noticed that sharks have small black pores located around their eyes, nose and mouth. These black pores are the electroreceptors themselves, known as the ampullae of Lorenzini. The ampullae of Lorenzini helps the shark sense the electromagnetic fields that are generated by organisms living in the ocean surrounding the animal. As well as this, they can also detect minute temperature shifts in the water. Sharks play a critical role in maintaining a balance within their ecosystems by regulating the oceans around them. Sharks are the apex predators of the ocean, but they also keep other animals in check. They help control population management of some species that they feed on, such as sea lions, and they also act as the binmen of the planet because they scavenge and clean up dead organisms. I guess you could call them the vultures of the sea. Unfortunately though, not everyone seems to understand how critically important sharks are for maintaining a healthy balance within their ocean environment. The media does a very good job at warping people's perception of these animals and painting them in a really bad light, as if they're man-eaters that are only out there to kill people. But this couldn't be further from the truth. Here's a scary fact for you. It's estimated that around 16 people are attacked by a shark every single year. But people kill over 11,000 sharks per hour. That's over a hundred million sharks per year that face unnecessary deaths at the hand of humans. This figure may be beyond comprehension, but some sources even claim that it may be 250 million sharks that are killed every single year. Sharks are facing countless threats in the wild, such as pollution, habitat destruction, bycatch and shark finning. Shark fishing has become a sport where people are being encouraged to go out on boats and fish for the biggest and most endangered species of shark they can find. Now more than ever, sharks need our help in protecting them. People are so scared of sharks because these animals are constantly being persecuted in the media for being man-eaters. But it's now more than ever that these animals need our help. They need to be conserved in order for us to have a healthy, functioning ocean. When we choose to enter the water, whether that be swimming, surfing, or even in a boat, we are entering a shark's home. It's our responsibility to educate ourselves and take the precautions necessary in order to stop provoking attacks. By watching documentaries and understanding shark behavior, people will quickly realize that these animals are not the monsters that they've been painted out to be. These are beautiful, complex animals that truly deserve so much respect. Once you take some time to really understand these amazing creatures, you will truly realize that an ocean without them would be a very, very scary place. So what can you guys do from home in order to protect sharks and their amazing ocean habitat? Well, by supporting charities such as Four Oceans and the Shark Trust, your money will be directly going into protecting and conserving sharks across the globe. Make sure you learn as much as you can about these animals and correct people when they take films such as Jaws as fact. It's okay to enjoy these films, but make sure that you understand that these are not an accurate interpretation of what these animals are like in the wild. Never purchase or use any shark products at all, and always make sure you're reducing recycling and reusing at home. Reducing your seafood consumption is also another way you can protect sharks in the wild. And spread the word. Educate other people about these magnificent animals and why it's so, so important to protect them. So I really hope this short video has given you more of an insight into sharks, the threats they face in the wild, and what you guys can do to help. I'll be doing a video soon all about shark behavior and focusing on the individual threats that many species face in the wild. But for now, I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you guys soon.